what's up guys back for the other video i was telling you about this is the second portion of it so go ahead and check it out all right so check it guys if you didn't think uh, or if you didn't believe me this is the original motor that i took out these are the 49 cc i don't know what millimeter this guy is this is the old head That goes in there. The old rocker arms. If you guys did your research, you know the old rocker arms, longer stems. You can see it. These stems are longer. The 100 cc's with 64 millimeter arms. The stems are actually nearly as flush. These are the stems, right there. And the rocker arms you would have to change because the original ones would push it out, push it out more. Watch. Actually, here's the old cams too. Cam will go there. Rocker arms. And it should be. Put it in there, probably upside down. And I was right, upside down. All right, there's your your cams with the rockers. Looks way different out the motor. Push it in a little bit. There you go. And that's the original so when I first had the motor I had to buy the rocker arms because they did not sit flush as you can see let's compare the two all right so you can see uh, my stems see how it's sitting flush compared to the original they stick out more see that so this is an 80cc with, I don't know, 60 something millimeter arms or stems comparing it to the 64 with the A9 cam. So I completely changed the whole thing. So yep, these are the original, they're shit. Uh, you can actually have the bike running with this on the 64 but you have to adjust this guy right here and it would be very very knocking whatever but yep that's the original and you see the big difference so the other reason why i haven't yet installed it is because i want to see what the reason it caused for this guy it could be just the air vent or something but when I took the the old uh, the old head or whatever the bore kit it has the exhaust out so I believe the exhaust enters or exit but you can see the old one has it not blocked off and compare it to the new one see how it's blocked off over there this one is not this one is open with a gasket and that one is sealed off this is what I've been trying to tell some people that didn't know what I was talking about so intake to exhaust no intake yes exhaust so that was the other reasoning maybe why this bike probably isn't giving its natural like kind of air fuel ratio you can see it goes in right here leaves out 
I did take off the headers. I don't know where I put it. But I remember I, I took it off. When I had this on, it cleared a gap. So it doesn't have anything. So there's no point of putting screws or anything. It's just a straight block. This is cylinder. This has this guy. You know what I'm saying? This is the other thing I've been trying to tell people. And I am not trying to do no machine work if this is the case. The bike still runs good. I actually drove it just like this. Yeah. Alright, so I got the bow uh, cover back on. So, this is useful because I believe air sucks into it or shoots out. I'm not sure. I think it goes out. And there's nothing connected to this, apparently, because there's nothing there. You can see no headers. It's just flushed off. And that's how the board kit came with. I put the spark plugs in there and then look at my timing timing is right there if you can see that I'm sorry connected to that ledge that corner triangle square piece right there it was in line with it you're good so yeah uh, this uh, put together and then oh yeah this is the battery bot. He says he added new acid to the battery and it's supposed to work brand new. It is brand new. But the battery seems like it's dying. Is it because the clock is running consistently or I don't know. Old motor. Long time ago. New motor. Recently. Also. J and J Power Sport. Yep. It came with the filter. Different jets import. If I take this out, it's just a needle in there. There's no springs, just a needle. And the old Chinese one looks like that. And it has the springs and stuff. You can see from the inside it has a lot of stuff all right uh, let's get to it mm -hmm. there's a lot of gas in there let's put this to the side mm -hmm. da, da, da. you can see what's inside the gas tank that right there and with the little rod that's over there that is what indicates how much gas you have in your tank the floater so i tell you on your cluster gauge that's what uh how much gas you have and what i'm gonna do da -da -da. yep just a few times and it's right in there yep see it with your own eyes before I forget let's put 
this back. There we go. There we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. Yep. And this guy. Yep. Alright, well, that's all set. Battery's good. Don't need the cover on yet because I just want to leave that exposed unless I gotta jump it. And alright, let's start let's start smelling some fumes. If the bike don't start by the button, I'm going to try this guy. Put him in there and spin it myself with the drill. Yep. One half. Socket. I cracked my garage a little bit, but so it is on. Battery's not completely dead. Or is it weak? Let's just give it a try. Oh, that's like dead. Shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's dead battery right now. Oh, I got to jump this shit. God damn it. Oh my god. Get a scooter, they said. They said gas, they said. Just ride it to work, they said. Save money, they said. It's okay. It's not that far, they said. I gotta get my jumpers. Jump this damn bike. You guys are about to witness that you can actually jump the Tao Tao scooter with a car. I think that's fine right there. You don't believe me? 12 volt Tao Tao jumpers. Positive, go there. Negative, goes there. See that? Positive goes there. Negative can go here. Secure it. Secured. Secure it. Secure it. Bike off. Car on. Miss this car. Transmission is blown. Window down. You can see it. It works. If you don't believe me, cables. Trouble. Bike on. Now listen to it start. See the, the bike works. Just the battery valve adjustment. You also got to do the rich and lean adjustment. You go in.
I'll leave it right there just for now to get it started to see if it actually is the problem yeah it's kind of dark outside Was talking to myself the whole time I didn't record but what I was saying the bike it bogs out it runs the CDI right here you can see it J&J power sport high voltage I don't know maybe good or bad I don't know unplugged it plugged it back then both wires this guy the restriction I'm thinking that's what it is unplugged it plugged it back then um, strap broke for the battery I use bread wire whatever this is anyways uh, back to this I want to see if it starts again I just closed my garage and it it dies out when I rode the bike when I had to like literally walk the bike back I have to kept over and over and over like this just to catch gears like it was slipping I don't know what the CVT engine transmission let's see if it starts actually battery is weak battery is dead this is what I'm talking about I cannot depend on this bike anymore because the battery died out did you see that I'm not gonna bother right now I'm just gonna leave that in there uh, tomorrow I'll charge it with my car let it run for like a whole hour plus and I don't know, just see what it goes from there but all right anyways all right guys well that's it basically um I don't know if the video is long or short I don't know if you had any info or what I can give you or you can give me um uh, thanks for watching again Comment below, subscribe please, hit a thumbs up, helps me, helps y'all. The more you like the videos, the more I can produce more. That's for now. I'm uh, trying to get a thousand subscribers so I can push more videos out there. But just working on my speech and stuff like that. But I, I enough for me. Peace.